Rise and grind. The Cigar Lounge Rules. Let's get into the list. Here at Rise and Grind, we equip you with everything that you need to elevate and to live your best life. We provide you with the best whiskeys, the finest cognacs. We tell you what kind of wine you should be ordering at a restaurant. We share with you what kind of cigars you should be smoking. We provide you with tips on how you can earn more. Today, we're gonna share with you the rules for when you go into a cigar lounge. Now, the cigar lounge is an asylum. It's a safe space. It's a space for men who are rising and grinding. I've been in a lot of spaces. I've seen fights in churches. I've seen fights in corporate boardrooms. But I've never seen a fight in a cigar lounge. The cigar lounge is a safe space. And so there are certain rules and etiquette that you've got to know. And so the first rule for in the cigar lounge is respect everything and respect everyone. As soon as you walk in, you greet a head nod, a wave, a smile. This is a space that men come to to relax. And so as soon as you enter, if you are new, you must show respect to everyone. Respect the owner of the establishment. Respect the cigars. If someone is smoking a cigar that you think is not expensive enough, you keep your mouth closed. If someone's smoking a cigar in a way that you disagree with, maybe they cut it too much. Maybe they're lighting it too much. Maybe they're smoking it too fast. You keep your mouth closed. You respect everything and you respect everyone. Every man in there is a man. Every man in there is a master of industry. Someone's father, someone's pastor, someone's boss. They know what they are doing. No one needs you to correct anything. And so the first thing is respect. Keep any criticism or comments you have to yourself. Respect the establishment. When you look at the cigars in the humidor, respect them. Don't pick them up and start sniffing them, crumbling them. Respect the cigars because someone else will likely be picking up that cigar and looking to enjoy it. And so you respect everyone and you respect everything. The second rule in the cigar lounge is no politics, no religion. You do not wear your MAGA hat to a cigar lounge. You do not wear your I voted for Obama to a cigar lounge. This is a safe space. No politics, no religion. No politics, no religion. Men are here to relax. This is our asylum. This is sacred ground. No politics, no religion. The third rule in a cigar lounge is you buy something. And so some cigar lounge allow you to bring your own cigars. That's fine. But the reason why that establishment is there is to make money. And so do not go into a cigar lounge and just smoke the cigars that you bought and then leave. 
buy something from there. Visit the humidor. Even if you already have your own cigars, buy at least two cigars. Now, one of the things that I do, because yes, cigars at a cigar lounge is gonna cost more. And so there are certain cigars that I know if I see them, they're at a good price where I can buy it, support the lounge, and not really buy a bunch of cigars that I don't want. And so get you a CAO Flathead. Get you an Oliva Series G. Get you something that is not gonna cost a lot of money, but it helps out the establishment. If you have your own cigars and the establishment has a bar, get you a drink or two. Buy something. Someone's gotta pay for the Wi-Fi. Someone's gotta pay for the rent. Someone's gotta pay for the air condition. Someone's got to pay the employees. Buy something and support the business. The fourth thing, when you are in a cigar lounge, is don't brag. Nobody cares that you only smoke Cubans. Nobody cares that you only smoke Arturo Fuentes. Nobody cares that you only smoke Padrones. Nobody cares about that one $20 cigar that you smoked that one time. Nobody cares. And so don't make sure people can see what you're smoking. Don't brag about what you are smoking. Remember, don't talk down about anyone's cigars and do not brag. This is a safe space for men. The fifth rule is don't smash your cigar. And so after you have done smoking it, just leave it in the ashtray. Don't smush it like you're putting out a cigarette because this gives off a very foul odor. And so it would be shameful for you to enjoy the space and the ambiance. And when you're done, you smash it. And now whoever sits where you were seated is going to smell that odor. When you're done with your cigar, simply leave it. The sixth and final cigar lounge rule is when you are in a cigar, and if you are allowed to bring in outside beverages, you share your whiskey. Even with strangers, these are the rules. This is a welcoming environment. It's a safe space. I've traveled to places where I didn't know a single person in the entire state but I knew if I found a good cigar lounge, I can have me a cigar, I can have me a whiskey, I can have me a good conversation. And so whenever anyone comes to my local cigar lounge where I'm allowed to bring my bottles, I make sure I give them a pour. This is spaces that we have created for us. There are certain spaces that are sacred, the barbershop, the cigar lounge. These are the rules. Respect everything, no politics or religion, buy something, don't brag, don't smash your cigar, and if you can, share your whiskey. Let us continue to keep the things that we hold as sacred, Cigars, whiskey, fine living. These are the things that help men like me, men like you, to rise and to grind.